please feel free to contact Ms. Sandra O'Hara. She is helping with job search. She's part of a staffing agency for AI resume. I included this one. This has worked for me personally. And for languages such as like to help for benefits or if you need to, your top documents translate, feel free to contact me. Uh, next slide. And any suggestions or anyone who wants to help out, help other Rotarians, feel free to please contact me at my email or phone number. Thank you, everyone. Next slide. Okay. Together we can overcome this. Mahalo. Thank you, great, Gabriel. Very good. And then just so everybody knows, you can, uh, you know, this is being recorded, but you could also email everybody the, your presentation if you want. So let's go right to the next presenter. That's Joshua from Hickam Pearl Arbor Club. How's it going, everyone? Um, hi, my name is Joshua Laguana. I am the senior sales engineer at Simplicity HR by Altris. Um, Altris, I also just say Altris, but Altris has three distinct divisions. Most of the people in Hawaii. <laughs> Um, sorry about that. Uh, knows Ultras as Ultras staffing, but um, that, that includes clerical, technical, medical, and home care. The division that I work on is Simplicity HR. Um, it's completely different from uh, staffing where, um, I'll explain that in the, sh in, the, in the, actually, staffing is where we have placement managers that look for applicants and then put them into work sites. They are employees of Ultra staffing. With Simplicity HR, what we do is if you have employees, you have to provide them a paycheck. You have to pay, uh, pay taxes and provide them medical and dental insurances. Well, Simplicity HR will handle all the administration for that. Um, with our experience, we've been in Hawaii since 1969. We are a second generation family owned company. We've also evolved into technologies. At Simplicity HR, we offer payroll services, HR support and compliance, employee benefits, workers compensation, safety and risk management, training and education. These are all things that employers need, especially now with COVID, um, their budgets are being cut back and positions are being um, removed. So leaning on an expert that's been in the industry for over 50 years is in a lot of people's or employers' best interests. Uh, but the one thing that really sets us apart from any other HR company here in Hawaii is that we built our own technology called HR Symphony. It's a human resources information system, HRIS, that um, is, was designed here in Hawaii by Altres and is supported here in Hawaii, um, made specifically for Hawaii employers. It's an HR ecosystem that seamlessly integrates all of the HR life cycles like time and attendance, recruiting, payroll, scheduling. Um, instead of going into four different systems, you can just come into one, which is called HR Symphony. Um, like I said, it has recruitment and hiring, scheduling, time and attendance, payroll processing, benefits administration, employee management, business intelligence, like reports galore. And that's all as long as you get it, as long as you're doing uh, payroll with us. But what I really wanted to focus today is the Altris Foundation. Like I said, we've been here 50 years, more than 50 years in Hawaii, and we want to make sure that our community thrives. And I'm going to be wrapping it up with something that the Ultras Foundation developed for Hawaii, um, actually anyone in the world. It's a way to reduce the risk of COVID-19 in the workplace. It's called wellnesstracker.com. It's an active self-screening application allowing businesses to manage and monitor wellness screening strategy in real time. So this asks employees before they come into work, are you sick? And so it's proactively checking your staff before they come into the work. As anyway, it, check it out, wellnesstracker.com. Um, thank you very much. My email's on the screen. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Joshua. Very good. Let's go to the next presenter, Joe Gideon from JPG Hawaii Waikiki Club. Aloha, everybody. Uh, Joe Gideon, past president of Waikiki Rotary Club. And uh, today, I'm, today I'm gonna share with you a new product that we launched. Uh, JPEG, JPEG Hawaii is primarily, primarily a graphic design, printing, uh, and advertising company. Uh, but early on with, with everything that was happening with COVID, our, our clients were asking us to help, help them source certain items, mainly PPE. So early on back in, back in February, we made a shift 
uh, part of our company, we shift towards import, uh, importing um, PPE, everything from masks, sanitizers, gloves, I um, mean, you name it, we, we do work with the state, the city, a lot of major care homes and hospitals. So the, this new product that we just recently um, manufactured is along those same lines. So I'm gonna steal the screen here for a second. Oh, let's see, sorry, one second. Not picking up my screen. Let me try that again. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, we've created our, our own um, hand sanitizer dispensers. One problem a lot of companies was having is a shortage of these little Purell. I've got about 30 seconds. Um, as you can see, they're refillable. You can refill them yourself. I'm going to share in the chat. Um, I'm going to drop in uh, the sales sheet on there. And maybe I can steal the screen one more time just to show it. I'll do this for, I'll put this up for, uh, well, you can see that. I'll drop that into the chat room. Also, I have to throw a shout out to Janet from Monomese. We hired her um, a couple weeks ago as our, uh, as our PR company, and we've already been on the news uh, twice, actually, and we've got more great things lined up. So I'm going to stop the share, wrap it up, and if you have any questions, J, go, uh, JPEG Hawaii and my contact information will be in the chat and you can also email me joe at jpghawaii.com. Thank, Thank you. you Joe and perfect intro for Janet. She's up next. Hey everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? Aloha. Awesome. First of all, I want to thank Naomi and Bob and Robert for putting this together. I was also um, part of organizing this event, and it is probably one of the best Zoom events so far. I think that this is a great way for us to help each other as Rotarians. I am also a past president of the Waikiki Rotary. I'm also the current district public information um, person for Naomi, and I love my Rotary at the Waikiki Club, and I honestly cannot wait to get back to it. I am so missing our in-person meetings. Um, I'm going to be very brief as Bob has asked. I am chatting uh, right now my company's website, manameans.com. My company, which I founded in 1992, yes, I'm that old, is 28 years old. And I am a full service marketing and public relations firm. Just looking out to the sea of people here. I've worked with so many of you over the years, professionally and through Rotary. We provide everything from graphic design to video production to public relations. My favorite part of um, helping businesses is actually helping their businesses grow through strategic marketing. We actually build strategic marketing plans. We custom design them. We're a boutique firm with seven employees. I have two in California now. I can't get one of my employees to come back and it's okay because everything is virtual. Uh, my son is one of my creative directors. I have two creative directors. Um, and we have a lot of fun helping our clients on a daily basis achieve their marketing and business goals. I'm really looking forward to helping any of you guys out there with your businesses. We are very, very involved 
in COVID marketing. I have two clients right now that that's all we do for them and a couple of state contracts with the Department of Health actually um, doing some COVID marketing. So anything you need, feel free to reach out to me through my website. Um, and if you're very interested, I'm happy to share my cell phone. So have a great <clears throat> rest of the evening. I look forward to hearing everybody's pitches and we'll see you in another one of these next month, Bob. Thanks again. Thank you, Janet. Next up is Natalie Champion from eClub of Hawaii. Thank you, everyone. Aloha. I am Natalie Champion, and I am the vocational co-chair of the eClub in Hawaii. I am also nominated to be the president-elect for 2021, so I'm excited to be here with you. Uh, lucky for all of us, the Honolulu Board of Realtors just sent out their updated numbers this morning, and uh, Oahu's single-family homes just had an all-time high median price of $880,000 and an average sales price of $1.073 million and an all-time low of nine days on market before going under contract, which is great for sellers, not so great for buyers. Uh, another interesting thing that's happened is that the feds have approved a shift on the inflation goals. So instead of keeping inflation artificially low by um, setting interest rates higher, they've decided for the first time since 2012 to not do this, which means that we can see historically low rates for a good long time. Um, that's not really great for buyers because as you can see, we've got 51 new listings, 31 under contract and 29 new closings, which is unusually low. COVID has really done a number on our market, especially because open houses are not able to, to happen. They just started allowing uh, five or less people to tour open houses at a time, um, but it makes uh, for a challenging environment for, for home buyers especially. If you're a seller though, it is a great time to sell because there's just no inventory. Um, my company offers a lot of virtual home buying process tools, including consultations, wire transfers, mobile notary. Uh, one thing that I love because I have a lot of uh, military clients is doing FaceTime or video home tours, which is super, super important in, in this day and age. Uh, and electronically signing documents, really important right now. Uh, and as far as uh, the sellers go, uh, I wanted to give just a couple of tips to selling the home. Important to meet with your agent, hopefully it's me. Uh, pre-qualify to buy, keep in mind that with historically low rates also come underwriters and processors who are absolutely drowning. And so expect to have um, your escrow, normally it's about 45 days to close. We're looking at more like 60 days to close because of the huge backlog of people who are raring to go. Um, so keep that in mind. Good import, important thing to price correctly. Do a pre-inspection is good. Also pre-staking and surveying, just in case you have an owner's friends creeping up on you, you wanna keep that in mind. Um, really that's kind of the main thing that I wanted to let you know, uh, uh, except uh, there's a Hawaii mortgage rates online that I'm gonna put in the chat that shows exactly what, uh, about 20 banks are offering. So thank you very much. Thank you, Natalie. Up next is Rich Wu. Rich, you there? Yep, you hear me? Yep, All there right. you are. I'm trying to share my screen. Um, are you seeing it? Are you seeing the screen? No. Oh, maybe not. Uh, you just hit share screen on this. Oh, share. What about now? Are we seeing what I'm seeing? Yep, it's there. Great. All right. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, 
Malo for taking the time to tune into my presentation. I'm excited to pre present on Kauai Namauka, a new upcountry subdivision in Maui. Um, my name is Rich Wu. I'm a realtor with Hawaii Life. Uh, this photo is of the ground blessing. Uh, the person in the middle is the first closed home buyer. We're uh, planting her ohia tree. And then to the left is our uh, mayor, Mayor Victorino, myself to the right, and then the developer uh, right beside me. Um, Kuanamauka is a 32 unit subdivision consistent of 16 lots with a cottage and a house on each lot. It's located on the corner of Haleakala Highway and Makani Road. Um, here's a um, site map. Again, it is uh, a house and cottage on each lot. Uh, it's a flag lot with the house in the back and the cottage in the front. Um, right now we're about 16 contra or we have 16 sold. Um, that's more of the front of the subdivision. So um, that's more towards the Makani Road. Um, and then we're going to be releasing the uh, rest uh, towards the cul de sac. Houses feature 1,612 feet, square feet of living, three bed, two and a half bath, two car garage, approximately 6,500 square feet of land, and monthly maintenance, fee, monthly maintenance fees are about $22.38. Cottages, two models, as you can see above. Two beds, one bath, 600 square feet of living, 240 square feet of carport, approximately 3,500 3, square feet of land, and monthly maintenance fee of $14.92. Finishes, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, luxury vinyl interlocking plank flooring. Um, you can see the examples to the right. So what's available? Uh, Homes, we have 2H at 640K, uh, right? Uh, 16H actually went into contract today. So as far as homes go, we have one available um, and our median house price right now on Maui is 750K plus. So really competitive pricing. Um, as you can see the floor plan, it is a reverse floor plan with the kitchen up top and the master bedroom up top and then two uh, additional bedrooms below on the ground level. And then cottage wise, we have 11C at 425. Um, so only one left. And then uh, for, as far as the remainder of the, the uh, subdivision, the developer is taking reservations uh, on those. So construction has started. As you can see, the uh, subdivision road, sidewalk, underground utilities have been uh, installed. And then uh, we're looking at septic systems and mass grading in progress. Uh, that's me to the left. And then if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, 808-796-6956, or uh, in my email, richwu at hawaiilife.com. Then here's a little upcountry pictures, um, sunrise or sunset at uh, Poli Poli up at Haleakala. So thank you. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. Okay, next up is Evelyn from A-Frame Mortgage. I'm sorry, something's, I'm sorry, something up on the back door. Ah, there we go. Hi, good evening. My name is Evelyn Stiefel. I'm the owner of A-Frame Mortgage. I'm also uh, one of the loan officers for my company. Um, we're licensed in Hawaii, and Colorado. And um, of course, uh, like Natalie was talking about, we are looking at historically low interest rates. And the average closing is 45 to 60 days uh, from beginning to end. Uh, what we offer at uh, A-Frame Mortgage is um, Zoom meetings, uh, we do phone calls, uh, you know, whatever works best for the clients. We don't just work nine to five. You know, we're up early because we are working with uh, Colorado, which is actually four hours ahead of us right now, um, as well as uh, late in the day here in Hawaii. Um, sorry, I'm glancing at my notes, my uh, presentation that I was going to show this evening. Uh, we had a little audio fail, so uh, we have to work around that sometimes. Um, we are looking at, um, like you talked about, historically low interest rates. Um, and uh, 
and pretty quick turnaround times with underwriting. Actually, um, our average underwriting from beginning um, to um, the initial loan approval is anywhere from five to seven days. So um, it's going pretty quickly. Uh, we're not offering any cookie cutter type loans. The type of loans that we actually offer are um, tailored to the client. Uh, not every client's needs are the same. And so we are able to do that. Um, and that's all I have to share. Uh, my information is um, on the list. I thank you for working with me on uh, without my, my presentation uh, on the screen. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, next up is Peg Jackson. Peg. Can't hear you. I've unmuted. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to hit the screen share. Okay. There we are. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, I'm Peg Jackson. I'm a consultant, and my uh, consulting practice is Peg Jackson and Associates. And I'm seeing if I can get this to come up. There you are. Okay, so the, the consulting areas I specialize in are organizational risk management and planning. I work with clients, uh, businesses, academic institutions, nonprofits, to help them map out how to deal with risk areas in their organization. I also work with them to develop emergency preparedness and response plans. And these are things, COVID is one a very big business interruption, but there's lots of others. And I help clients build a plan for dealing with uh, a crisis or emer and an emergency, but also how to figure out how to move forward and to resume normal operations. I also have clients with strategic planning. I help them to visualize where they wanna be in the next two to five years and how to get there. I also work with clients, businesses and nonprofits on Sarbanes-Oxley compliance strategies such as doc the document preservation policy. And this is something the nonprofits don't realize they need, but they do. Um, and these are, these are things that I've, I've worked with clients for years with. And lately, I've been invited by a university and by a Rotary Club to develop COVID-19 protocols to help them prepare for reintroduction of people into a, a business setting or a classroom setting. And these are things that, uh, that you know, this is brand new, but I've uh, been invited to do this twice at <laughs> different levels. Uh, but working with me is easy. Um, I, my projects are on a fixed fee basis, and I provide the client with a list of deliverables so they'll know what they're going to get, how much it's going to cost, and when the bill is showing up. Um, but I also offer a 60-minute complimentary consultation for Rotarians in, um, via Zoom, and uh, projects are completed via a Zoom or other web-based means so that clients and their employees are safe. And I've written a number of books that you can find on Amazon.com, and I thank you very much for the opportunity to present this evening. Mahalo and aloha. And I'm going to hit the stop share. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, next up, we have Laura Rosenthal. Aloha. My name is Laura Rosenthal. I'm um, with the Rotary Club of Maui. I don't think there's too many from Maui here tonight, but... Um, so I have, uh, I've had a massage business on the island for, uh, since 1989. I've been doing massage since 1979 and uh, COVID stopped us, no phone calls. <laughs> so um, my business started out in some big hotels in Wailea. We're a small business. And um, after, after 30 years, um, my business partner retired. But around 2016, when um, TripAdvisor started coming out and Yelp started coming out, but we got, um, we got ranked by TripAdvisor number um, nine of more than 
nine, number nine spa and wellness um, out of 300 in the whole state of Hawaii. And we're a little small business. So that's, I, that made me feel pretty good about what I've been doing for so long. And um, so after my business partner retired, I wasn't quite sure what I was, how it was gonna be. And, um, but I ended up um, pointing myself in, the, in, in a direction. And before COVID hit, I, uh, I had started to partner with another business um, in the area, Wiley Healing Center, and offered, it's actually spectacular out, outside um, Ocean View Massage. It's up on a golf course and it's amazing. And we could use outdoor massage right now. And we've been doing outdoor massage for years. And um, we also do out calls and um, on site too, but we'll have to see what happens with COVID. And um, I can barely answer the phone anymore. I'm not used to it. So anyway, I put my contact um, numbers and all the information in the chat. The other thing that my business does is um, we, we, um, we fund the Touch for Peace Scholarship Program and um, it's um, scholarships for high school students going into college, how my higher studies will help to promote peace. I started doing this before I was in Rotary. Anyway, you can look on my website for more information. Aloha, hope to see you. Thank you. Next up is Susan Sabo from the E-Club, e I believe. Yes. Hi, everybody. Let me just start my slides. Yes, I'm the president of the Rotary E-Club. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I also work with Young Living Essential Oils. And this is something I educate people about all day long because I didn't know about this until three and a half years ago that the chemicals we're surrounding ourselves that we're buying from in everything uh, on our bodies, in our homes are full of toxic things likened to when our parents used to smoke in the car with the windows up. And we didn't know how bad it was then. We're going to learn how bad the toxic chemicals are in our everyday products. So I get to tell people about that. There's a great movie on Netflix called Stink. I please, please watch it. It's about how as the chemical industry has gone up, so have all of these conditions. There's also a great book called Your Health Has Been Hijacked. And it's all about how cancer is on the rise. And we have an amazing solution, which are incredible products. And everyone thinks Young Living Essential Oils is all about oiliness. And it is, but it's also about 600 and then some chemicals chemical free products for every single aspect of your life. So people think oils are for girls. No, they're for athletes. So we have healthcare products that help boost your immune system and your, your body's also not fighting harmful chemicals. So athletes, animal lovers, mamas and papas, we take care of all of them. And we do that with all of these different kits ranging from oils to chemical free cleaning and household products, CBD, 100% pure, amazing, little kiddo oil kits, Ningxia Red, which is an antioxidant drink. We have something for everyone. So we offer a Rotarian rebate of $25 that I can cut a check to you or donate to Rotary and to Rotary International in your name should you decide to get a kit. So what I'm asking you to do is after this webinar, not now, after this webinar, go on a scavenger hunt, grab all your pretty smelling stuff out of your closet around your sink and look for the word fragrance. That can be anywhere upwards of a thousand harmful chemicals just in that. In fact, Google harmful chemicals in fragrance and it will blow your mind. So do that, go on your scavenger hunt after this ends, send me an email and the first three people who email me, I will send you a gift to say thank you for going on my scavenger hunt. So thank you so very much, everyone. I really appreciate your time. I appreciate you all being here. I'll put my email address into the chat. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Rick Tabor from the Honolulu Club. Okay, uh, let me start my slideshow. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, I'm from the Honolulu Club, Rick Tabor. I've been working with Kapuna for some time, so elder care. And just this week, I started the new job with Generations. So I'm the uh, customer service director 
for Generations Magazine. Um, on this particular cover, on the very bottom, we have Gift of Sound, free hearing aids. Uh, we're doing that through our rotary, actually, uh, the Gift of Sound. This is the latest. Uh, so Generations Magazine, you've probably seen it around. It's, uh, it's uh, the only resource publication devoted to Hawaii's mature readership. Um, and each, each issue offers a lot of information about useful resources, things for Kapuna, uh, things for us that, as we're aging, um, healthy kinds of stuff, valuable advertising. Um, and what's happened with, uh, you're probably aware of this, but our Kapuna, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're aging out, we're taking over actually. So um, boomers uh, 65 years and older in 2011, uh, there's been just since then, uh, there's been just a rapid increase. We've grown by a third in the next 10, 15 years will be actual equal to uh, those 18 and younger. Uh, no age group has increased faster in our history. Uh, so baby boomers and their extended families have created an unprecedented demand for information and projects and services. So in August, Generations Magazine hit the 10-year mark. So they've been around for 10 years um, under this current uh, uh, ownership. So I am actually going to be helping out. Here's an article I wrote. Um, I was a partner with them for a while. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, so I wrote a RILA from last year. I wrote up a RILA article that was in there. Um, so we have a distribution of over 35,000. Um, um, all, all of our islands are included. Uh, distribution points, so it's free. Uh, it comes out bi-monthly, so every other month. Um, so you can find them in drugstores, supermarkets, restaurants, libraries. We give 5,000 of them out um, uh, every edition. That'll be in like your doctor's office. You've probably, you've probably seen these. Uh, we have about, uh, around 1,000 uh, uh, subscribers uh, worldwide, pretty much. And we also give them out free at uh, fairs and different events. Um, so one of my jobs is going to be to manage, help manage the events and the fairs that are going on, the webinar, all that stuff. Um, so that's distribution stuff, running out of time. So we also have web pages. And um, for you, for you as Rotarians, um, if you want to post something. Uh, I'm doing calendars of events. We can do that as Rotary. We can do that for you as individuals. If you have presentations, um, we're actually restarting our radio show and TV show. So I'll be hosting uh, those. So um, talk to me. You can be on the show to not just advertise, but talk about things that are related to Kapuna. And um, I mean, there's not enough time to cover everything, but uh, I'm also looking for articles. So articles that would be interesting to Kapuna. So that's, those are all things that I'm working on. I, I text you, uh, I chatted you my email information uh, and my phone number. Um, so you have all of that. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get out of here now. There we go. Oops. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Kelly Tom from Kahala Sunrise. I see your screen, Kelly, but no sound. Maybe unmute. There we go. But, you know, Kelly, are you there? Hi, can you hear me? Sorry about that. Okay, there you are. Gotcha. Shoot. Okay, hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Sorry about that. Hi, I'm Kelly. I'm a certified financial planner um, with Summit Financial Advisors. I've been helping clients for 11 years now. And three years, I co-founded um, Summit Financial Advisors. And we specialize in working with retirees and pre-retirees, planning for retirement, helping them set up their accounts so that they do not outlive their money, um, making sure they're prepared for unexpected expenses, making sure they're prepared for healthcare costs down the road and anything else that may arise. Um, one of the, our big focuses is education um, because that's how you can truly make good decisions. And so what we do is we do monthly webinars now. It used to be in person, but now they're on Zoom and on, on a variety of topics. And so our next topic I would like to invite all of you to is called the 800 pound gorilla. Shucks, my computer is frozen. Um, it's, short, it's on the bottom. It's going to be on Tuesday, October 20th um, from 1130 a.m. to 1215. And 
if you want to register, just go to our website, www.summitfinancialhawaii.com. Um, click on the webinars link and then you can register. There's no cost. We just like to educate our clients and the public about just, just to learn to be financially smart about various topics. Also, so we do topics, different topics. Um, we're going to bring in a state planner to talk about estate planning in the following months. We did one last month on Medicare, where we had a Medicare specialist speak. Um, I've also spoken about social security, about income planning, and a variety of topics. So if you would like to be added to our list, just to know about what topics are coming up, please send me an email. I'll put it in the links after this. Um, and I'll be happy to add you to the list. And then last, I want to mention that um, my partner and I, we do financial well not wellness workshops at different employers. So we've been doing it at Alexander and Baldwin for many years, Arcadia, among other companies. And the reason we do that is because we know many of us are busy working during the day. It's hard to get away at nighttime with family. And so, but we do want everyone to be educated about finance. And so we come to the employer's work site at no cost, again, just an added benefit. Usually it's during lunchtime um, and then, so it doesn't interfere with the workday. And it's on a variety of topics, financial wellness, investments, money management. So if you're an employer or you work somewhere that you think would benefit or people would wanna hear about it, please also shoot me an email. I'll be happy to connect and see how we can come and help educate everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, we have Chris Aguinaldo from East Honolulu Club. Hi there. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Chris Aguinaldo of Six Pillars Marketing, and I'm the Senior Public Relations Manager. We are a local integrated public relations creative solutions company, and our chairman and CEO and founder is Lincoln Jacoby, who's, of the, who's the director of public image for the Rotary Club of East Oahu. Six Pillars Marketing uh, has been around for nearly 25 years. So we've seen, uh, we've seen uh, and helped a lot of local companies, local brands, um, but I'm going to run a video for you. And our pillars, you'll see in, uh, in our video, uh, our pillars are different parts of our company that help build on each other. And since the pandemic, uh, quite frankly, if you're not on digital or social media, or streaming, uh, you're missing out on a big audience. And we've been able to help our clients uh, through this time by developing uh, really targeted digital, social, and bringing their events to streaming. So you can learn about the pillars as I start the video, and I'll be right back in a moment. Thank you. Everyone see the movie? All right, here we go. So uh, that video was also produced in-house. And again, I'd like to emphasize that um, right now, 
because of what's happening. If you're not on digital or social, um, this is the time to really double down and make sure that you are in that space because a lot of people are now in their homes and they're looking for alternate forms of entertainment. I'm going to leave our website there and you can go and see each one of these six pillars in depth, but I really do thank you for your time and thank you and thanks for uh, doing what you all do as Rotarians. Aloha. Thank you. Next up, we have Arlene Estrella from Kapolei Club. Good evening, everyone. My name is Arlene. I'm a massage therapist. I've been doing massage for the past uh, 22 years, and I'm going to share my screen here. So majority of my business is actually house calls. So I bring everything to you. Um, I travel all throughout the islands. Um, in this photo here, you'll see um, this is my Eva Beach office if it is not available to you for me to come to your home. Um, I also do corporate chair massage. So if you want to do uh, employee ap appreciation or uh, there, I have a couple contracts with like the Halekoa, Queens uh, Medical West and uh, Kahi Mohala. Um, of, of course, this was all pre-COVID and I would go there on a monthly, if not bi-monthly basis to do chair massage for the employees there. And that is to no cost to the employer. Uh, all they had to do was give me a space such as a conference room or a lanai, um, a very small space for me to work out of. The employees would pay me directly and HR would not have to do anything. Um, and the employees really enjoyed that because it was a nice 15, 20 minute break for them. And they used it usually as a part of their wellness program, such as being a part of the Blue Zones project. I'm going to also share here my Instagram. You could find me with um, as Rejuvenate with Arlene or on Facebook, again, Rejuvenate with Arlene. And I share uh, stretching videos. Um, also, I am an aesthetician, so I share some skincare tips, um, especially here. You could go through the different tabs here and highlights and find different information as well. But again, um, since with the Oahu being under the tier system, technically I can do massage, but only outdoors. So I have been seeing a couple of clients and been working um, in their backyard or the lanai. So I technically am not going in their home and if they have any concerns like um, sanitation or whatnot, you know, I am definitely cautious of that. And I always wear my mask and I have my clients wear their mask as well. So I will also be donating a couple gift certificates for the district silent auction. So if you want to try out my massage and all the funds will be going towards our club or through the Polio Plus Foundation. Um, that, that's another way to, to try my massage. So thank you for having me and I look forward to hearing everybody else's presentation. Thank you very much. Next up is Sarah and David Herman from Windward Oahu Sunrise. Hello, everyone. Can you see my screen? Yes, fantastic. Well, thank you for your time this evening. Uh, my name is David Herman and my wife, Sarah. Hello. And we face, our company is Embrace Family Learning. There are three main services that we provide and it's proactive parenting techniques to help parents with their kids, especially when you're spending so much time at home with your kids now, uh, different ways on how to help this diffuse and make parenting much more fun and less frustrating. We also provide educational consulting to schools as well as academic tutoring to help kids that may need a little additional help or those that really want to uh, aspire further. Our fundamental concept is we want to help uh, raise children to become happy, caring, responsible, and successful adults. Actually, here, one quick second. And you know, where I like to begin is what do we want for our kids? And to really begin with the uh, end in mind as parents, and from a lot of the thoughts that we have from parents is they want to make sure that 
their kids go to a good college, have a good job, be successful, make a difference in the world, um, have a good life, or make sure that they pick out a good retirement home for them when they need it. Um, when we look at really how to uh, meet these goals for our kids, some of the key concepts, and while we think we're sending them to good schools or having them with good friends, really teach them how to problem solve, think critically, make decisions with, it, with confidence, working as a team player, really having grit. And the term that I like most is having self-efficacy, the ability that they know that they can, the choices that they make and their abilities to influence others and to get things done is incredibly important. And we help parents really encourage kids to do that. And we're uh, certified presenters of Parenting the Love and Logic Way, where we help parents and teach them how to become, how to make teach our parenting much more fun and rewarding. And we do this without discipline um, or without losing the respect and love for their kids and removing a lot of the uh, challenges that a lot of parents have. A fundamental concept that I really enjoy with the parenting style that we have is that it's not our responsibility to be really raising children, our responsibility is to be raising adults. And how do we teach kids to really become adults and giving them the responsibility on an age appropriate aspect. We also provide tutoring and Sarah has over 30 years of teaching and is a tutor um, and we help kids with special needs uh, or the students that are wanting to be challenged as well. In the areas that we tutor is everything through, um, from pre-K to eighth grade, high school, as well as test preps for colleges or private schools. Fundamentally, we hope that happy parents and happy kids make happy families, foundation of our society. If you have any questions or so, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And next up, we have Robert Jackson, who I have to say, he's, he's my wonderful co-chair on the vac vocational, District Vocational Service Committee. So Robert, it's all yours. I bet you say that to all the girls. So thank you. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Robert. Uh, thank you everyone for joining this evening. Um, I have a clothing manufacturing and wholesale company called Island Traditions. I started this in 1993 and we are manufacturers and wholesalers of uniforms and corporate apparel. Uh, our first item we're gonna go through, we're the manufacturer for the rotary shirts, which we did in four different colors. We have a photo of that on the left. We also manufacture the shirts for Oahu Transit, uh, the city bus, the handyman, and the rail if they get up and running, but uh, eventually they will be wearing our shirts. And if you look at the logo on the blue shirt uh, you're going to see right there uh, the rail. We have production facilities in Hawaii, uh, Indonesia, and Thailand, and about 90% of our production is done overseas because uh, we're a high volume manufacturer and uh, we limit the Hawaii production to smaller quantities. We specialize in custom print apparel uh, featuring a company's theme or logo. Uh, we make basically anything that can be made of fabric, shirts, polos, t-shirts, masks, robes, bags, you name it. Uh, well, here's a few pictures of some clients that we have. We, uh, these are the custom print shirts for Polynesian Adventure Tours. They basically wanted something that matched their bus. Uh, we also do various products such as face masks using fabric. There's a photo of the rotary face mask. We do convenience stores, uh, basically anything but a custom print. We also make hotel yukatas and robes uh, for hotels. Uh, we used to do them for department stores, but we do not sell to department stores anymore. It's purely uniforms and corporate apparel. Uh, we also manufacture other products like uh, blank polo shirts, uh, like what we did for Dunkin' Donuts. Those are Island Tradition brand polos, and we did the screen printing on it. We do uh, performance polos like the photo right here, uh, which is the dry fiber polos which feature custom prints. 
and we do other products. We also distribute and print t-shirts for the Department of Parks and Recreation for the state of Hawaii and also for the Board of Water Supply. So uh, we do t-shirts as well. Uh, and we even do cooler bags. I never thought we'd get into that, but we just landed a contract for the Honolulu Airport and they also wanted these cooler bags. So that's what we do. Again, we're a manufacturer wholesaler. We have minimums of 48 pieces, but we can provide for companies and special events. And that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. I think we got everybody in. Everybody showed up that was on the list. So I thank you all for doing that. Um, and I'm amazed we ended pretty much on time. In fact, we got a, maybe two or three minutes to spare. So thanks, thanks to everybody to, uh, oh, I wanted to mention, um, you need to uh, make sure you're aware of the, uh, our, the Rotary Means Business. Um, well, uh, maybe Janet, can you talk a little bit about that? Do you mind? It's, a, it's the Rotary Means Business website on our district website where you can look up all the businesses on there. Do you have a minute to do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. So Bob had a great idea when he became the district vocational chair this year to set up a section of the district website called Rotary Doing Business with Aloha. And you can submit your information to me if you haven't done so already. We also have a video page where you can submit a, a short video. So all you have to do is I will chat my address um, right now. Um, if you haven't submitted it, go ahead and submit your contact information and your company logo and your title. And I'll put you in the Rotary Doing Business with Aloha section of the Rotary District website. And it's right there on the homepage, you can't miss it. And if you have a video, you can submit that too. Um, did I forget anything, Naomi? This was also one of Naomi's visions. Naomi? Sorry, I, I want to share the screen. So this is where oh. this, this is the district's website, and it's right up here, Rotary Day Business. And so when you click on that, you can see everybody's uh, information. If you click on the logo, you go to the website, and so you can put the videos. On uh, there's another section for videos. So send your information to Janet and get onto this um, this website. So, yeah, lots of. We've got about, what, 150 listings of companies? Yeah, it's a lot. It's it's a whole lot. I'm sorry I lost you guys. Um, and I want to talk about how we categorized it just real quick. Um, it's categorized um, uh, by industry. So you'll see it starts at the top with the industries that start with A, I think agriculture, then banking. So that's how it's categorized. And in the drop down menu, you'll see the different categories of industries. So I've, I've included my email address. Please send it to me and we'll get you listed if you're not done, haven't been listed already. Okay, thank you very much, Janet. Appreciate sure, that. Sure. And um, so if uh, for those that want to get on for next month's uh, meeting, it'll be on November 3rd. So it will be the, we're gonna try to do this the first Tuesday of every month. So uh, I put my contact information on the chat and uh, we'll send out another email blast as well, but uh, we're right on time. Thank you very much for everybody uh, sharing and uh, we'll see you next month. Thank you everyone. Hello. Thank you everybody. Yeah. Good job, Bob. Great job, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look, at, look at Sally. Sally's showing us a happy face. <laughs> I love that Sally. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Aww. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Uh, thank I you. Sure sad face, Naomi, if you like. <laughs> <laughs>
Good night. Good night.